Some photographers are angry, some photographers are gay. I'm the philosopher photographer. I walk, I talk, I philosophize, I photographize. This is uh, two samples of vintage Sears film kit lenses and of course in uh, Morristown, New Jersey. This is a Sears 135 2.8K mount. All metal construction with a rubber rubber band type uh, uh, focusing ring. Completely manual. Oh, it's automatic uh, if you're stuck on an automatic camera, but since I was using a, a non-smart adapter, I wasn't worried about that. It's fully manual otherwise, with click stop aperture and everything. Of course, a 135 gives you compressed perspective. It had uh, a Excellent uh, imagery, I thought. Uh, good contrast, good resolution. Uh, not over vibrant colors, but not washed out colors either. Of course, I'm using the Sony A5000, and um, I used the ISO 400, and I set the parameters to minus two on the contrast, minus one on the saturation, and plus three on the sharpness. This is fantastic statue, so lifelike. They have all these uh, fortress-looking churches all around the green. Of course, the Salvation Army is a couple blocks over. They have on Speedball Ave, they got some uh, old-time uh, architecture. Well, you know, uh, not really old, but this brick, brick facade type stuff. And here's another uh, fortress type uh, church. A lot of them. They have uh, these uh, doorways that may look uh, 1700s looking. And then you got the 1930s looking. It's all a lot of its heroic or heraldic uh, architecture, like this eagle. Now this is a tough shot, close to the sun. It, it handled flaring and uh, stray light very well. And, uh, this is the, another church. And the gabling. This is the dome of the courtroom. Golden dome, but the woodwork looked pretty crappy. Grasshopper off the green. This is down the street. Here's, uh, I guess this is Justice. It's got a sword. Uh, how about that? Just us. A lot of flags there. A lot of these old lanterns, uh, post lanterns around like this. Yeah, well, this is more modern. The other one was a uh, more, uh, shall we say, traditional. Uh, there's all these eateries all over. There's uh, pizza joints, uh, fast food places, no name fast food places like someone started a fast food place, uh, and then there's like uh, there's more upscale eateries, but a lot of stores are empty around the green. Empty. They're just empty. Oh, this is a Japanese place. They've been there for as long as I can remember. Here's a close-up of Peaches. Peaches is Bella Oxmix's dog. Uh, here's some uh, secret pipes. I guess they go to a deep underground military base. Of course, it's a city, and it has some uh, box uh, cubic architecture, like this building. And it's got the big glass windows. Of course, you're going to get a lot of reflections. This is South Street. Uh, Presbyterian Church, some detail on their tower, and there's a, their name plate in stone. This is another government building, and they, everyone's got weather vanes on the top. The Salvation Army again. This is the YMCA, I believe, ornate uh, building facade. Here's some more uh, compressed perspective. Washington Engine Company number one. Uh, I guess if you live right across the street, you don't have to worry about your place burning down. Here's another uh, weather vane on an old building stuck next to a new building. Here's uh, some window reflections, and this, this, these windows look vacant to me. A lone pedestrian walking down the street. Here's an upscale eatery, and then back there's some uh, fancy schmancy condos. They had these uh, yaller, yaller trees. It was like uh, the last days of fall. Here's looking down uh, Madison. Here's another reflection in a arched doorway. 
an excellent lens. If you could get one for 50 bucks in uh, excellent condition, grab it. And if they're a little beat up, cheaper. The Sears 28mm 2.8, this is a screw mount, M42 screw mount. Both of these lenses I bought back in the film days, and I bought them because they were cheaper alternatives to the name brand guys, which is Canon, Nikon, and Pentax. Oh, there are other people like Minolta, Konica, Fuji, Chinon, Mamiya Seeker, uh, but, you know, uh, a lot of them, unless they made K-mount or screw-mount lenses, uh, everyone had their own mounts, so they weren't really interchangeable. So, uh, at least Sears, Sears is where America shops. Sears was like the big store, and now they're gone. Sears is, Sears is gone, and whoever thought of that in the 80s. At any rate, uh, I bought this, these used lenses. I got them cheaper than the, the big three, and I used them a lot with film. I always had trouble focusing those uh, uh, film SLRs because uh, they had a ground grass screen and then they had a, a micro diaprism collar and they had a split prism image rangefinder in the middle. And you really, really had to focus, you know. Uh, 2.8 uh, could be troublesome under dark conditions or uh, quick uh, changing a uh, uh, subject, like a moving subject. So uh, I always got poor results. And film, oh my God. You had to use 400 film uh, so you could get uh, stop down and get depth of field and then uh, get a reasonably fast shutter speed because then you had the problems of focusing errors and uh, subject or camera movement. Now both these images, both these lenses perform well on mirrorless cameras because you have the live focus uh, magnifier or where you could uh, get a sharp focus on your subject. And... Um, 400 or 800 is nothing on these digital cameras, these modern digital cameras. And it's this way you can stop it down and get a fast shutter speed. Now, since I wasn't doing a shootout with these, but I was just demonstrating uh, uh, what you could expect if you saw a cheap Sears lens. Oh, this is 28 millimeter. It was prone to flaring. Uh, but it wasn't that difficult. Some people like flaring. Uh, this is the day I, I, of this shoot, but uh, my car had some frost on it. Uh, this I call this the gallows oak. This is the post office. They had a fancy fancy post office. Here's some uh, eateries. That's all, all they had was eateries, art stores, little boutique stores that sold uh, uh, specialty items like that. You know, it's, uh, this is the back street of uh, the main street where, you know, here, there's exhaust from the kitchen. And they had quaint little uh, character highly characteristic uh, eateries and stuff. And uh, in the early morning, that's when I like to go. Then you get the, the low phase angle lighting. This is another shot of the, the, the Japanese restaurant. You had to walk up a door and it was like two stories up. Here's the parking garage, this was interesting. So it's a strange mixture of the ultra modern and uh, the old. Some of the buildings were from maybe you know, the 1800s all the way up to like uh, the 2000s. So it's all jammed together, all strange and different. That's what I like about it. It had a lot of diversity. <laughs> diversity. And like I said, big windows have reflections. And then uh, you get uh, uh, interesting juxtaposition of views. I saw this lady walking around the block a couple times, but you can't tell who she is. This is like the main pub crawling street. The Salvation Army. You got to beg forgiveness now when you go to Salvation Army. Here's the sanctuary of this church with an interesting tree. and Here's some uh, early morning shadows that I thought were interesting. I sort of like this sign. I don't know if this uh, company went out of business. It's starting to look sort of derelict. Interesting side of a building, some sort of uh, newspaper outfit. There's the main street. And then early in the morning, there's not too much traffic, either pedestrian or, or motor traffic, so I sort of like it. And this is my car again. Here's, a, here's another eatery, Sushi Lounge, with a reflection in their window. So that's all there was. Taverns, uh, restaurants, uh, coffee shops. This is a, some old building, maybe it's over 100 years old. This is Speedwell Ave. 
this is a wide shot of a previous shot you've seen with the telephoto lens. Here's three terrorists, Washington, Madison, and Lafayette, plotting their uh, conspiracies. This is a macro of some tiles. This is up a street. This is a strange mixture of uh, Victorian and ultra-modern buildings. Bright garish colors, you know, you get that too in the city. Watch this space. There used to be another ancient building here, and they knocked it down. I don't know what they're going to put up. Here's an interesting reflection. They have a, a, a city scene painted in the window, and then there's a city scene reflected. What's the conclusion? If you could get these lenses cheap and in excellent condition, go for it. I mean, if you just want to experiment with your uh, mirrorless camera, get yourself a photo diox adapter and go for it. Just make sure you have the same mount on both of them. Luckily, I had two different cameras, two different mounts, so I was able to walk around and grab one camera and another.